chapter 3. See now, the Lord. The Lord Almighty is about to take from Jerusalem and Judah both supply and support. All supplies of food and all supplies of water. The hero and warrior, the judge and prophet, the soothsayer and elder. The captain of fifty and man of rank. The counselor, skilled craftsman and clever enchanter. I will make boys their officials. Mere children will govern them. People will oppress each other, man against man, neighbor against neighbor. The young will rise up against the old, the base against the honorable. A man will seize one of his brothers at his father's home and say, You have a cloak. You be our leader. Take charge of this heap of ruins. But in that day he will cry out, I have no remedy. I have no food or clothing in my house. Do not make me the leader of the people. Jerusalem staggers. Judah is falling. Their words and deeds are against the Lord, defying his glorious presence. The look on their faces testifies against them. They parade their sin like Sodom. They do not hide it. Woe to them. They have brought disaster upon themselves. Tell the righteous it will be well with them, for they will enjoy the fruit of their deeds. Woe to the wicked. Disaster is upon them. They will be paid back for what their hands have done. Youths oppress my people. Women rule over them. Oh, my people, your guides lead you astray. They turn you from the path. The Lord takes his place in court. He rises to judge the people. The Lord enters into judgment against the elders and leaders of his people. It is you who have ruined my vineyard. The plunder from the poor is in your houses. What do you mean by crushing my people and grinding the faces of the poor, declares the Lord, the Lord Almighty. The Lord says, The women of Zion are haughty, walking along with outstretched necks, flirting with their eyes, tripping along with mincing steps, with ornaments jingling on their ankles. Therefore the Lord will bring sores on the heads of the women of Zion. The Lord will make their scalps bald. In that day, the Lord will snatch away their finery, the bangles and headbands and crescent necklaces, the earrings and bracelets and veils, the headdresses and ankle chains and sashes, the perfume bottles and charms, the signet rings and nose rings, the fine robes and the capes and cloaks, the purses and mirrors, and the linen garments and tiaras and shawls. Instead of fragrance, there will be a stench. Instead of a sash, a rope. Instead of well-dressed hair, boldness. Instead of fine clothing, sackcloth. Instead of beauty, branding. Your men will fall by the sword, your warriors in battle. The gates of Zion will lament and mourn. Destitute she will sit on the ground. 